The most common question asked in RuneScape is how do I make money? Welcome to Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow, a series where I start from scratch with nothing and farther the account each and every episode with questing, bossing, skilling, and combat. We will hopes to one day achieve the Twisted Bow. After watching this series, you should no longer ask yourself, how do I make money in RuneScape? Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. So today is episode 28 of Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow. If you guys like the video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button. In this episode, we will be doing, you know, we might even start working on construction. I'm going to do some crafting, some money making, maybe get into some Slayer and of course some more questing. So yeah, on with the video. Welcome back to the dopamine trees 15k this is never gonna get old even if we don't ever get just like a level from this it's still not gonna ever get old but uh yeah we got to, we did get one level there 61 farming it looks like we might get, yeah we're definitely gonna, going to get another level in the next couple of days 42 hunter well we just hit 87 crafting and this is the level for the light orbs now i won't be making money with crafting anymore but we're gonna get hella good xp so we were getting what like 55 let me just quickly test it 50 53 xp for each unpowered orb and then each light orb we're gonna be getting 70 so it is gonna be a massive increase for crafting as as i told you guys we're gonna be slowly going for 99 crafting for that nice teleport but uh, yeah, this should be some freaking fast XP now. A lot faster anyways. And there we go, 88 crafting. 89. Wow, 90 crafting. We are definitely getting there. Look at these redwood birdhouses. If only we had the hunter level. And back to dopamine trees we go. 62 farming. I don't think we're gonna get another low actually we are that is insane we're gonna get 63 farming and a nice little hunter level to end off the night 43 i think that's something important oh yeah spotted cabots 91 crafting 92 crafting all right dopamine trees back in business one two and three less exciting this time but uh 64 farming and 93 crafting we're getting there 94 crafting well it's time for us to get some quests out of the way and uh i wanted to do recipe for disaster in this video and i realized for that i need desert treasure and for that i need temple of ikov so it's gonna be a, a long day Okay, so for the next part of this quest, it says you need to get your weight under zero kilograms and you need to get the boots of lightness. Now, I'm wondering if I can just put on a piece of graceful and call it a day. So let's see, graceful top. Let's see if this works. We're definitely below zero, right? Oh, we're five kilograms. Okay. Moment of truth, moment of truth. I worked. Sick, man. Fuck the boots of lightness. Oh, I remember this place. People used to get lured here back in the day. Where if you weren't under the kilograms, you'd like fall and die or something like that. Sad times. I hate these types of quests where like it's like RNG. Like I've hopped like five worlds now and like every world there was a person on it. And I need one arrow, man. You need to get 20 ice arrows and it's just like a chance that you get like one from a chest. It's ugh. Huh, you find nothing. Oh, we're about to do a boss. Let's see how easy this is. Attack. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on, kill this guy. Should I put on some prayers, boys? Uh, let's go with the eagle eye. Am I actually going to run out of arrows? I should have brought my Ava's assembler. No way. Come on, big hit. Big hit again. Please don't run the arrows. Oh, I'm going to pick these right back up. Okay. We, sh we should be golden. And, ooh, that was a max hit. 
Let's go, let's go, kill it. Kill it, and see it, you decide to not attack this guy and he's your friend. Okay, here it is, here's the nice Staff of Armadale, and woo, you've completed the Temple of Ikov, one quest point, 10,000 range, and 8,000 fletching, actually pretty decent rewards there. Alright, well... We're gonna start Desert Treasure, um, why not? I mean, it's gonna be horrible, and it's gonna probably take me the rest of the night, but it is a one of the harder quests, I guess, and not the harder, but just one of the longer, I guess, quests left, so, yep. Wait, is this actually the first boss? I really hope it is, because this is pretty easy. For some reason, I thought, like, these bosses were, like, super challenging, but I guess I did this at, like, a very low-level Iron Man before, and I had, like, no gear. Um, praying melee seems to just work. I'm hoping because I didn't really bring food here. I didn't, it didn't say to bring food on the freaking quest helpers. So, yeah, as long as we can knock this guy out, we should be done. I guess the first boss feared, which one was pretty easy, honestly, complete. But, yeah, hmm. Desert Treasure is like a raid in a way. Just puzzles and bosses. Um, that might be it. Next hit, I guess, it will be the end of this one. Now, I'm pretty sure it like obviously drops like a bead or some diamond that you have to go ahead and keep. I forget this quest. It's been multiple years now since I've done Desert Treasure. Huh, okay, we got the smoke diamond. Okay, so it took us like one, I don't know, like 20-ish lockpicks. Now, I've always like done Desert Treasure with like 80, 90 thieving. So I always am like, I don't get what the complaint is about having lockpick issues. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a struggle. I thought I was going to have to bank again, but... Now, I'm hoping this isn't the second boss, because before I pulled up the recorder, he's already almost fucking dead. Okay, two phases or something? I'm so confused. Kill... Oh, kill, kill both phases. Okay, I guess that's it. We just got to kill two phases of, like, an AFK boss. Desert treasure, man. I remember this being such a pain, but it's just... AFK at this point. Okay, I guess three phases? I don't know. Oh, I get it, man. He drains your prayer, so it's supposed to be hard. I guess I should turn auto attack off. Jesus Christ. Um, And just kill him? I guess? I don't know why this is supposed to be hard. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm just spamming Karam Bonds. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Pot up, 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 pot up. What is happening, man? I guess I should pray. Um, this is pretty crazy, actually. I just take back what I said. And he just keeps regening. I, I feel like I'm doing something completely wrong. What? No, I'm not sure if I'm doing this properly, but I couldn't be fucked, to be honest with you. Uh... What am I going to have to do? What? R return to Melod and Canifis to get the blood. Oh, fuck. Alright, please, buddy. Give me the diamond. I really... Yeah. Blood diamond completed. Oh, the next one I just know I already hate. Can you fall on this? I would be actually so triggered if I can fall on this. I killed the guy, but I didn't get the blood diamond or whatever it's called. Um, you want agility XP? That, this is a this is a good course. Now, this said I needed a fire spell. I really hope I don't. I don't want to have to walk here again, man. Oh, thank God! I hope this is it. Um, I need to free both of these ice trolls, but it's just like an RNG thing if you hit it. Oh, it looks like we got it. Um, is this everything? Just give me the blood diamond, maybe. Yes, talk forever and. Oh yeah, you freed the little, the child gets his parents back, and yes, Ice Diamond. Oh, this is so satisfying, man. All I have to do is place the diamonds in the right order or something like that, and I guess that's the one. And then you like light this pyramid up forever, and oh, there's the ice one right here. And I think we're almost done. Let's see what this one looks like, though. Ice, come on, man. Stamina pot up, and... Ice, ice, ice. What does that look like? Oh, oh. Well, let's enter this pyramid. 
Oh, there we go. You have completed Desert Treasure, three quest points, 20,000 magic experience, ability to use ancient magics, and up to 192 quest points. And if we just pray at this altar now, boom, we are on. Oh, yes, we are on the ancient spell book. So now look out for the uh, PKing episodes. I'm just kidding. All right, so I've never done the ghostly robes in my entire life, and I've always, like, low-key really wanted them. I'm probably going to get them on my Iron Man quite soon as well, just because I didn't realize how easy this was. All you literally have to do is go around and talk to, like, six ghosts wearing the invisibility ring and the, whatever it's called, um, the ghost beak amulet. And then you just talk to them, and basically all you do is listen to their stories, and then they give you the piece of the robe so this is i think the last one right here we just got to listen to what this guy has to say it's a lot of dialogue the one in the wilderness is quite annoying because the other things tend to attack you so you kind of have to almost get lucky for that one but uh you know i just ended up using a lot of food there but anyways keep going spamming through the dialogue here and i'm pretty sure now yeah it is done <laughs> okay so the ghostly armor um basically what it is is it just a, it's all it is is like pretty much pure armor for go uh for magic it's not the best obviously in the world but i just like the way it looks man if you look at your character wearing ghostly you're just like see-through it's really 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 cool i don't know why i like it so much i could just like take off the hat or the hood, for example, and just like my head's just like fucking floating. It, it's just a really cool piece of armor that I've always wanted in the game. And now I have it. Very, very interesting. <laughs> I just, I can't get over how cool this looks. But uh, anyways, I guess we're ready to finish Recipe for Disaster now. Well, back to Z Dopamine Trees. One two and three will be a nice level <sighs> coming in with 65 farming been a freaking while man but about to get a nice little hunter level coming right in with 44 freaking hunter yeah we're just gonna do birdhouse runs such a nostalgic place to train crafting uh if you watch the iron man series link in the description all right i guess we just use this chicken on here and i'm wondering if this will we have to like fight a blue dragon or something like that kill an evil chicken um oh shit drink a potion and the evil chicken is about to be killed i kind of wish i brought prairie here but it doesn't seem like i even need it is that everything uh evil chicken's egg and then we have to kill a black dragon, motherfucker. Oh, this might not go well, boys. Um, yep, we've done three damage so far. Um, maybe I should have brought gear. All right, now all we have to do is kill the black dragon. I kind of got geared, so uh, doesn't seem to be hitting us as much now. Same with as having prayer is very, very helpful here, obviously. Oh, I forgot about this. I have to go to Antrana. So I had to like literally bank everything. I brought some runes. I'm hoping that I can uh, cast the spell on the end undead zombies. I brought a bit of food as well. I know it's a pain in the ass to try to go ahead and get this uh, dream and stuff. I could have swore I had one in the bank already, but maybe you need a couple for a few quests. I don't remember. And we got the fire making pet coming in. <laughs> First KC. We got a zombie bone too. I'm pretty sure that's for the rag and bone man quest. So I will keep that um yeah now all we have to do is go to the end of this thing and chop the draymond tree i'm gonna grab a couple just to be safe you never know when we might have to come back here and it's kind of just frustrating we did however get pretty lucky and yeah for some reason i was like is the boss gonna spawn again okay now let's make sure we don't eat this or empty i can't even imagine if i empty that i don't even know what i would do there we go you have completed the sir arm bazaar sub quest you are rewarded one quest point four thousand cooking four thousand hp and increased access in the chest up to 193 quest points now you only have two council members left to protect so let's go ahead and check which ones they are uh recipe for disaster we have warface and the lumbridge guide 
Turns out I need to do a murder freaking mystery. At least I actually like this quest. Murder mystery is completed. This one gives three quest points, 1400 crafting, 2000 GP. And if you drop this little silver necklace before you can complete the quest, you can actually keep it. It's a nice little, little fashion scape thing you could say. Now we should have all the requirements, so let's check. Um, what the fuck was that? Name that person. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank God. Quest helper, by the way. Let's see if we can do this without the quest helper. Let's go. Let's go. Break out of the egg, my kind sir. That is Ali, I believe. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Please be Ali. I've been playing this game for 14 years. If that's not Ali, then... Yeah, Ali Morris. Yeah, let's see. Let's go again. Let's go. This is pretty fun. They should have more shit like this. Let's go. Let's go. And... Ooh, uh, Raldo? Raldo? Is that his name? Yeah, the Varrock Museum, my guy. Yup. <laughs> uh, come on, Raldo. Yes. And how many more? Oh, congratulations. I guess that's it. Now we cook this question mark looking cake. I always thought that was such a cool item. I wish I could just get one of those for the bank. And uh, now all we have to do is not eat this. Oh, there's no eat option. And use it on here we go. You have freed the Lumbridge Guide. One quest point, 2,500 cooking, 2,500 magic, which is actually kind of useful and increased access to the chest up to 197 quest points now as well. And I believe all we have left now is the whatever it's called. Oh, this one looks kind of toxic. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this one at least. Oh, she's gonna blow. <laughs> and there we go. You have freed the Goblin Generals. One quest point, 1,000 cooking, 1,000 crafting, 1,000 farming, and increased access to the chest. Oh, isn't this like the five minute cutscene? Oh. I've seen this three times in my life. Alright, first boss seems like it's pretty easy. We might be able to take it, take on both bosses right away um, without banking. I've heard that the next one's better for to use like magic, but if they're this easy, maybe we can just take it out. I just brought like a super combat and a bunch of food with like literally budget as hell gear like we're talking combat bracelet warrior ring d hide so we don't even have that high of like stats either on this account we've got like 80s i really need to train combat on this account man but uh yeah what's wish me luck so this guy's annoying he keeps taking off my my whip i can't even get a hit on him and, I, and like watch i'll just punch him and like do some damage right here why don't you like my whip buddy like can i what the fuck is i don't get it I guess that's his special attack. The heat from the cakes forces you to drop. What, what does that even mean? Do I have not have to stand in like his radius or something like that? Um, I guess we'll just punch this guy to death. Oh, AFK simulator. We just hit a max hit with our fists, man. A 15 coming right in. This is so funny. Just an untrimmed cook and keep punching this thing to death. Let's freaking go, man. I love old school RuneScape. Oh, yes. Uh, can I? <laughs> we should switch to the kick. It would just be more funny. Let's go. Let's go. And. <laughs> and. And see, idiot. Wow, are you going to freeze me, eh? Oof, nothing a super combat won't fix. I don't even need these stats boosted, buddy. I'm just going to kill you anyways with a whip. Yeah, you can, you, you can drain my thieving all you like. Caramel. This man just threw a banana at me. Was that supposed to be a threat? What is he, he has like dragon claws on or something, whatever those are. This one has been easy as hell. I'm just constantly hitting. I might not even need a bank this entire fight. These cake drops coming in clutch. I think I'm gonna have to bank because you have to wait for the certain colors, right? Um, I remember this correctly from a million quests ago. I think you have to wait for the certain colors unless I can just really destroy him when the melee phase comes out. Oh, is this melee? No, I think it's... Oh, yes, it is. Let's, I wish I could use prayer. Should I just try to do this all? Like, just tank it? Eh. Well, 20 minutes later, we finally killed that thing. It almost took all of our food. But I'm really curious if we can kill this guy. Oh, it does not look like it. He's going to be hitting constantly. But at least we are we're hitting constantly on him. This might be a close call. Please don't... Yes, hit a one. Good job. This is like a boxing match, to be completely honest with you. Bring in the good old days. I'm going to save up. 
Yes, safe up again fully. Yeah, we got this, I'm pretty sure. Why is the the final one like the easiest boss? He's like Can I Can I like trick him? No. We just need a couple more hits. I'm just gonna eat the last food. And I uh, that is what the fuck is that? But anyways. Oh he blows up or whatever. But this should be the end of recipe for disaster that is nuts dude i'm so excited you have completed recipe for disaster you are rewarded with one quest point a unique lamp the full access to the chest 199 uh quest points now which is pretty funny and uh we get an experience lamp I think i'm gonna go agility main account right yeah i'm gonna go with agility for 20,000 agility love to see that coming right in and now if we go to the basement here let's just quickly check the, this was my gear before um let's see what this combat bracelet did a plus six melee strength bonus it's not the worst but it's definitely not the best if i go ahead and take my cash out now wherever the hell that is we can not buy food buy items and finally buy the barrows gloves and that was a hard task completed as well and they give a plus 12 melee strength bonus and they're also amazing for range pretty good for magic as well and they're just an overall amazing pair of gloves to go ahead and have so just just with this scuff setup right here let me put this shit back into fix so you guys can actually see what the hell i'm talking about with this scuff setup right here right okay we had a uh right now a plus 109 strength bonus and just with these gloves upgrade it goes to a plus 115 absolutely freaking massive so glad i got these barrows gloves out of the way it's kind of funny actually the bank value dropped like a shit ton in this video i don't know if it's all the crafting we did i know raids 3 has something to do with that with all of the uh drops and the prices and stuff like that but the bank value has definitely went down quite a bit but we did make a ton of progress in this video now that we have barrows gloves we just need to knock a bunch a little bit more quests obviously out of the way not too many though really it's a scrollable list now at this point uh, i think we have yeah exactly 50 more quests to go ahead and do on this account for quest cape obviously we still need to work on achievement diaries and stuff like that but uh yeah anyways if you guys went ahead and watched the whole video obviously comment barrows gloves down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one see ya later